Good morning. Chapter 6, Lesson 3 is on page 272. We're going to be doing trinomial squares today. A little bit more complicated than a difference of two squares, but basically the same kind of idea. Remember from back in Chapter 5, we had <clears throat> a plus b times a plus b. We ended up with <clears throat> a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And we had the same thing for its opposite, a minus b times a minus b. We had a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Well, remember in Chapter 6, Lesson 3, we're going the other way. We're factoring. So we're going backwards, and we're going to be using these two formulas that we have starred, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared turns out to be just a plus b quantity squared. And a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is the same thing as the quantity of a minus b squared, just the opposite of what we were doing in Chapter 5. <clears throat> For trinomial squares, we have three rules. Two terms must be square, the first one and the third one, the a squared and the b squared. There can be no minus signs for those first and third terms. And when we multiply the a times the b and then we double it, we should get the middle term with either a plus or a minus sign in it. Let's start off with number 25, see what we can do. Remember, we always want to factor out something. something. We always want to factor out stuff that we can before we begin. And I'm looking at 20x squared plus 100x plus 125. And it looks like we could factor out a 5. So if we did that, we would have 4x squared plus 20x plus 25. Now, is 4x squared squared? Yep. Is 25 squared? Yes. This gives me the 2x. This gives me the 5. Rule number 2, there's no minus sign between the first and the third term. No problem there. Now, if we multiply the a term, which is the 2x, times the b term, which is the 5, that'll give us 10x. And if we double that times 2, that'll give us the 20x, which, lo and behold, turns out to be the middle term. So we have from all this information then, we know that rule number one works. We know that rule number two, there's no minus sign works. We know that rule number three works. So the factors turn out to be five. And we end up with 2x plus five times 2x plus five. Or five times the quantity of 2x plus five squared. <clears throat> so the factors for 20x squared plus 100x plus 125 turns out to be 5 times the quantity of 2x plus 5 squared. This takes a little practice, but you'll get the hang of it. Let's try number 51. The quantity of y plus 3 squared plus <clears throat> 2 times the quantity of y plus 3 plus 1. Let's write this out. y plus 3, y plus 3 plus 2y plus 3 plus 1. Rule number 1, is the first and third term square? Yeah, I think so. y plus 3 squared will give me the y plus 3. Is this third term squared? Yeah, that gives me the 1. Now let's see if we take the y plus 3. Multiplied by the 1, we're going to use rule number 3 now. That gives me y plus 3. And if we double it, which means multiply it by 2, we do indeed get the term we needed in the middle. Exactly the same. So then we know the factors for this problem number 51 must be y plus 3. plus 1 squared. Or we could simplify that. Let me just erase this a little bit and make this a little bit neater here. I'm going to use some square brackets. <clears throat> and if we look inside here, we can go y plus 3 plus 1. Removing the parentheses doesn't make any difference. Squared which gives us y plus 4 squared 
as our final answer. Trinomial squares take a little bit of practice, but once we get the hang of them, they're not quite so bad. See you all tomorrow.